Hello all, welcome to session 81 of Software Testing Made Easy course. In this session, I'm going to explain about user acceptance testing. So let's get started. Acceptance testing or user acceptance testing is one of the levels of software testing, which is performed after completing the unit integration and system testing. As explained in the previous sessions, unit testing and integration testing are performed by the developers. Once the developers complete this unit testing and integration testing, then software testers will perform the system testing on the entire software or complete or whole software. As part of the system testing, software testers will find a lot of defects and get this particular defects fixed by the developers. Once this particular software or system reaches a stable or finalized state or a kind of state where it can be released into the market, then in that particular situation, acceptance testing will be initiated. So what exactly is this? acceptance testing. Acceptance testing is generally performed on the stable or finalized system that can be released into the market. Before releasing the software or system into the market, this acceptance testing will be performed by keeping end users in mind. So as the name speaks, user acceptance testing, whether the users will accept this particular software or not is a main motto of performing the acceptance testing. Then who will be performing this kind of acceptance testing? The real customers or end users who are going to use the software are the primary people who will be performing this acceptance testing. Along with these customers, the software testers, developers will be taking part of the acceptance testing also. There are two types of acceptance testing guys, that is alpha testing and beta testing. I'll be explaining more about this alpha testing and beta testing in the upcoming sessions. But for now, what exactly is acceptance testing? Acceptance testing is performed on the finalized stable software or system which is ready to be released into the market. Before that particular software is released into the market, acceptance testing will be performed to cross check or double check whether the users will accept this particular software or not. By keeping the end users in mind, this kind of acceptance testing will be performed. So this will be done before releasing the software into the market, guys. So there are different people that will take part of the acceptance testing along with the potential customers or real end users. The team, project team also will take take part of this acceptance testing to see whether the software that is developed or got stable or finalized, right? That is according to the user expectations or the users will accept that particular software or not before releasing into the market. The acceptance testing is performed to cross check or double check whether the software developed is according to the user expectations or users will accept the software or not. I'll explain more about this alpha testing and beta testing in the upcoming session, guys. So hope guys you understood what exactly is this user acceptance testing. We can also call it as UAT guys, okay? Short form for user acceptance testing is UAT, okay? UAT. So that's it guys. Uh, in the next session, I'll be explaining about this uh, alpha testing and followed by the beta testing in the upcoming session. So that's it guys. Thank you. Bye.